That's why people that come against us, you might you might get eaten up. You might talk shit and then go home and then get eaten by a flat like zombie. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 18, we'll start at 9. That might happen tomorrow. They might do that uh, 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 Easter. Oh, yeah. When they do the Easter, a flak of zombie might run up in there and start eating people, man. Watch, something, Lord willing, this bring how about Shimmy was shy. Some judgment happens tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Some judgment, some major judgment happens tomorrow, man. You'll be, you'll be doing your eggs and then the, the flak of zombie's gonna jump over you and bite your shit off. Bite your whole fucking scalp off, man. You're gonna be screaming, ah, oh, why is this happening to me? Oh, God! Did you wanna worship Satan so so much? Let Satan do, uh, indulge you, man. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 18 and 9. When thou art come into the land which Yahweh thy power giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. Abomination of those nations. So you're not supposed to be going into that. All right? You're not supposed to be going into that, man. Go ahead. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. To pass through the fire. All right? To pass through the fire. This thing is very serious, brother. It's not no joke. Them girls they kidnap, it's not no joke, man. This is dead serious, man. Where we at war? And you got people that want to play against, they want to come back. No, ain't no fucking debating, bro. Either you gonna listen, you gonna die. That's it, man. This is serious business. Go ahead. I got, let me add too, when it's talking about pass through the fire, that's a pagan religious right. You know, a lot of these witch, witches, they do, what they do is rights, a grand right, you know what I'm saying? Those rights, like as far as, uh, you know, the, the blood sacrifices, or when they gotta get popped or something like that, that's just nothing, that's a pagan right, man, to, to, for, to get that spiritual uh, power on the, on the left-hand side, man. Mm -hmm. Good. It says, uh, pass through the fire, or that use divination, or an observer of times. Divination observer of times. Don't you know, according to the scriptures, you're supposed to be putting them to death. You worship an Easter, you're supposed to get put to death. So we're gonna bring that out. What the Levitical priesthood did when they started going into the golden calf. The golden calf was mole. When Israel started doing that, just like tomorrow, those are them same spirits coming back. They actually made a golden calf with the horns. Baffle met. They go by different names. It's the same deity, same negative energy, man. Satan, which is against the scriptures, man. Our people doing that tomorrow. Some same spirits coming back. Worshiping the golden calf. When the Lord was delivering the children of Israel out of Egypt, they're doing the same thing. And the Lord got pissed off at that. The Lord, through Moses and the Levitical priesthood, put everybody to death. We're gonna bring that out. Go ahead, man. That's Molech. That Ishtar goddess and all that star of Molech, that's all, that's all evil, man. That's evil according to the Bible. That's paganism. Go ahead. Or an observer of time. An observer of time. That's what they do. That's what they do, observer of time. They look at the times, they go into the astrologies and all that. That's why big events happen in the blood moon. 1492, you know what happened on 1492 when Columbus conquered the Tainos, the Dominican Republic? It was a blood moon. 1948, when he took the land of Israel, you know what astrological, what astrological event happened? The blood moon. 1967, when they made Jerusalem a state. You know what astrological event happened? The blood moon. So they do things according to that. That's what you've been saying. That's against the Bible, man. Go ahead. Or an enchanter, or a witch. Or a witch, enchanters, man. And they're trying to put curses on us, man. Go ahead. Or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits. Consulter with familiar spirits, calling on on demonic entities, like what the president does. That's a that's a witch. You got that scripture for me, Numbers twenty-three. Get that real quick. This is Numbers twenty-three and twenty-three. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. There's no enchantment against Jacob. So here it is. They're doing all this enchantment. That's enchantment. Don't you know this wicked rap music is enchantment? They're spraying chemtrails, that's, that's, that's enchantment. Didn't you know that? Them throwing up them bombs over there in the Arab, they blessed those bombs. That Moab bomb, the mother of all goddess, that fertility bomb they dropped, which is a fire sun. Those people that died there, that was a fire sun sacrifice to Satan. Rocket done. That was a fire sun sacrifice. See, the, I don't believe what you guys are saying. Fuck people, man. These Rothschilds are actually doing these things. Who the fuck are you? Are you? Who are you? You're just nothing but a slave. You ain't running shit. The Rothschilds are doing, they believe in this, man. They, they're doing it right now as we speak. They're preparing a major false flag terrorist attack. The New World Order, guess what? Same requires a blood sacrifice. You know what that is? The Georgia Guidestones. They're planning to kill a lot of people, bro. Famine, the pestilence, the earthquakes, the evil that's coming. This ain't no fucking joke, man. But people think it's a joke. Ain't gonna be no joke when your stomach is cursing you out because it's hungry. Your stomach actually explodes. And the Lord's gonna laugh at that. The Lord's gonna laugh at that. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits. Or a consulter with familiar spirits, man. Calling on demonic entities, energies. You know what David and them would have did back then? Because Solomon went into that, though, because that was the purpose for that. 
to, to, to know 360 degrees of, of knowledge of good and evil, but David would have killed all of them, man. David would have sent a hit. He would have sent a mob hit on all of them that was doing that. David would have said, you know what, kill all of them. But David, had his heart was straight towards the Lord. He was going straight to other gods, man. He was straight to the Most High. Anything other else is death. It's fucking death, man. Go ahead. Or a wizard, or a 20. necromancer. Or a necromancer, which is the highest form of black magic. Even the witches and warlocks look down on necromancers. Uh, you know that? They deal with dead bodies. They have sex with dead bodies, man. They dig up dead bodies. You know Geronimo, the Gadite? You know they dug up his body, chopped his head off, and took it to the Skull and Bones up in Yale? Don't you know they had the rituals where, where they enter, and you know you have to kiss the skulls? You have to kiss skulls, man. That Skull and Bones, 322, that Skull and Bones, that's real, man. They did a movie on that. The, 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 the fraternities of the Skull and Bones, the secret societies. It's real shit. It's not conspiracy theory, it's a conspiracy. That's They're conspiring, right. man. And they know they're not the children of Israel. They know they're Satan. So, man, shalom, shalom. So, uh, hey, you guys, sisters waking up too. You got women out there that believe. You know what I'm saying? You got women out there that, that are gonna be saved. Guess what? More women gonna be saved than men. Dare me to prove it. Seven women shall cling to one man. More women gonna be saved than men, but women gonna come in order. Women are not gonna be ratchet, man. Women are not gonna be all that ratchet. Blah, blah, that's gonna stop, man. That's staying here in America being burnt up. Y'all better repent, man. Go ahead. Get 32 and 20. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 20, and he said, I will hide my face from them. <laughs> what, so, hold on. Uh, Exodus, I'm sorry. Exodus 32 and 20. I'm sorry. It's a lot here. That's my fault. Yeah, because basically that whole, uh, give me 1 Kings 11. And when they go into Asherah, the, the, the goddess of the Sidonians, Molech, the god of the Ammonites, which Moab Adam is the same shit. Why do the, 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 the Chinese worship the dragon so much? Cause that's a fire and sun sacrifice. You know what today was? You know what today is for the North Koreans? The day of the sun. You see what I'm saying? The day of the sun today. It's spiritual, man. Then they dropped the bomb this week. The Mo, they dropped that Moab bomb. Mother of all goddesses. Come on, man. This is spirituality, man. This is spiritual warfare, man. This ain't no joke. Are you just reading the Bible? You don't understand this Bible, man. These are spiritual lightsabers being thrown at you, man. Spiritual rocket launches, man. Go ahead. This is do Exodus 32 and 17. And when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said unto Moses, there is a noise of war in the camp. And he said, it is not the voice of them that shout for mastery, neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome. But the noise of them that sing do I hear. And it came to pass, as soon as he came nigh unto the camp, that he saw the calf. They call the calf. Saw the calf. Get me that first uh, Kings 11 and uh, um. Let's start from here. Yeah, start from here. Remember, golden calf, right? Which is Molech. Molech. Tomorrow's what? What's today for the Koreans? Moabites. The day of the sun. What's tomorrow? Ishtar. Pagan day Sunday. Which is the mother goddess. Read, let's read this. First, the Most High destroyed us for that, man. Go ahead. First Kings 11. And four, for it came to pass when Solomon was old that his wives turned away his heart. His wives, these other nations, right? Like, for example, you go out with a China woman, you go out with a Moabite woman or a Japanese woman, she's gonna have you worship Buddha. She's gonna have, she's gonna have pictures of dragons in her house. That's spiritual, man. Go ahead. Worship the dragon, the dragon's sacred. Which really, the dragons are really dinosaurs. The word dinosaur came out in the 1800s. Prior to that was dragons, man. Serpents. Leviathan's a serpent. Go ahead. That his wives turned away his heart. His wives turned away his heart. Oh, the, the Titanic sunk this week too. That was, that was the anniversary too. Leviathan sunk the Titanic. Go ahead. After other gods, and his heart was not perfect. His heart was not perfect. Go ahead. With the with Yahweh, his power. Yeah, and you know what? These, go ahead, keep reading. As was the heart of David, his father. That's what that's what Satanists will use to mm -hmm. back that up. Oh, you see? Solomon, you see? Solomon went into, and dove into that. Don't you know, don't you know these devils, they do that? They go into the book of Solomon, they flip, they flip it and they try to just, they use that scripture to justify it. The witches and warlocks, they just, you, you talk to them. Talk to experience, one that knows with experience, not these dumb little Greek tarot readers. Go to a witch warlock and they'll tell you, yeah, well, you see, Solomon dove into it, you see? But there was a purpose for that. What did Solomon say? Righteousness is the way. It's all vanity, it's all bullshit. Righteousness is the way. Go ahead. For Solomon, for Solomon went after 
Ashtoreth. Ashtoreth. What? The goddess of the Zidonians. The goddess of the Zidonians. Now what's tomorrow? Ishtar. That's a fertility goddess. That's the goddess of dawn. Morning star of the east. Go ahead. And the after he was building temples to these different gods. Solomon was doing that. He was building temples to these different gods, man. And you know they had priesthood in there. They had to. They had to have priesthood in there. Keep the, keep the temple going. Go ahead. And after Milcom, the abomination of the Amorites. Ammonites. Ammonites, the Japanese. Go ahead. And Solomon did evil in the sight of Yahweh. That was evil. Now tomorrow people worshiping Sunday. That's evil. That's the same thing right there. So tomorrow you going to Easter, that's evil according to the Most High's eyes. Right. The Most High's looking down at that and he's pissed, he's angry. He's looking at our people doing Easter, he's pissed off at our people, just like he was with Solomon. That's right. That's in the Bible. So what the hell is Easter from? What, what, what's up with that? People still gonna do it anyway. Go ahead. And Solomon did evil in the sight of Yahweh and went not fully after Yahweh as, his, as did David his father. David his father, because King David didn't play that. King David didn't play that, man. And if you know about David, David was spilling blood. These wild talk about they, they're obsessed with blood. They ain't obsessed with no blood. David, David was killing tens of thousands. He had so much blood in his hand, he couldn't build the, the pop, Big Papa Pump's temple, man. Yahweh's temple. That's how much blood he was fucking spilling. You understand what I'm saying? And the Lord is rebuilding the house of David. A lot of blood's gonna be fucking spilt in righteousness, man. All right. That's what. That's the times we're living in. I should take my fishermen turn to hunters. And we don't give a shit if you put us in the media. We're gonna say it in your fucking face, okay? Right. We don't give a damn if you bring the, the time gonna come. They have them two little noise cats try to say they're terrorists, they funded ISIS. They look like a so-called Negro and a so-called Puerto Rican, Judah and Ephraim. You know you're gonna set us up real soon. But well, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gonna destroy you, Rothschilds. Right. You Illuminati, the most high gonna destroy you, man. It's gonna be Illuminati for all of you, man. Okay? Right. Go ahead, no matter what the hell you do, I have been having dreams lately of rats coming into my bed uh -huh. the last couple of days. Buzz been having dreams of snakes coming into, into his bed. The time gonna come, man. Buzz gonna give us that power, gonna come hunt you devils down through spirit power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Most high gonna fuck you devils up, man. Go ahead. That's right. Verse 7. Then did Solomon build in high place for Chemos, the abomination of Moab. The abomination of Moab, the Chinese, today is what for the Chinese? The day of the sun. Right. Just like Egypt, they was going to sun god Ra. Worshiping the sun, worshiping the moon. The heathens, they could do that. They could do that, they're heathens. They're not God's chosen people. God said, don't do these things. Why are you gonna create, why are you gonna worship the creation? Worship the creator that created that. Doesn't that make sense? Go ahead. In the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Molech, Molech, Molech now, this is going into that, the calf, which is Molech, the bull deity with the horns, same thing, which people can play against, ah, Ishtar is different from, from the star of Babylon, which people say star and they think it's, it's the so-called points, a star is the sun, they have the star, the star of Nimrod, you know what that was, it was a circle of the sun, with eight rays coming out of it, that's what that was, stars are not points, they're circulars, they're planets, look it up. Go ahead. In the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Molech, and for Molech, just like the calf that Israel was worshiping, the golden calf that they built, that's Molech. Go ahead. The abomination of the children of Ammon. And the Japanese. Now today, the Chinese, the Moabites, right? And they dropped the bomb this week, like we said. They know what, these devils know what they're doing. The fire, fire sacrifices. Have we been saying that through the Spirit of the Lord? The spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh been telling you is a heavy satanic week. This week they're going to drop the Moab bomb, the first time ever. The strongest bomb that's non-nuclear. Moab of the Chinese. So before they dropped that bomb in Afghanistan, the satanic priest was praying over it. These people don't understand. These people don't understand what the hell is going on, these people, man. These people are fucking gone out here, man. Go ahead, man. And likewise did he for all his strange wives, which burnt incense and sacrifice unto their gods. Unto their gods. So we started going into these different gods. Give me that in Exodus 2, the Ten Commandments. I am a jealous power. Guess what? Tomorrow the Most High, you're not supposed to be celebrating Easter tomorrow. You know that's wicked, that's evil. Bunnies don't lay eggs. Right. Bunnies don't lay eggs. Right. Right, read. We gotta talk like that. Bunnies don't lay eggs. Bunnies don't lay eggs. Bunnies don't lay eggs. <laughs> bunnies don't lay eggs. Eggs don't come out of bunnies. <laughs> but, but people are like, that's stupid though. Go ahead. <laughs> Exodus 32 and 19. And it came to pass as soon as...